Good day, guys. <laughs> Austin here, and well, it's been a fucking while. If you've been keeping tracks on my YouTube channel, you will know that in the last couple of weeks, well, month or whatever it is now, I moved house. And during this time, I've had no internet whatsoever. I am so sorry, guys. It's been fucking ages since I've been able to upload anything. And to be honest, still, I shouldn't be able to upload anything because the ISPs of BT and Sky Television have been absolute assholes and not actually fucking still set me up with any internet in my house. I mean, I pay them money and I'm still fucking waiting. It's been a month, guys. A month. It's 2015. Things should be instantaneous. We're still fucking playing around with switch boxes and stuff like that. Just install my fucking internet in my house. Instead, I'm having to resort to my tethered mobile device uploading and downloading internet for me. I mean, fuck me. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a godsend. I mean, it's 2015 and I'm able to use a mobile device to get me access to the internet through my whole, whole house. The problem is that there's no 3G in my area, so I'm, <laughs> it's may well I may as well use a fucking postcard to send information to the internet. <laughs> anyway, enough of my fucking bullshit troubles and woes. Um, Commodore 64, here we are, guys. I told you, I told you that. Thank you very much for getting me a thousand subscribers. I didn't even think I'd get a couple of hundred, to be honest. I mean, I just put this together to help a few guys out to get them set up so they don't get ripped off by knobheads selling Hyperspin online. I'm going off track, but don't buy it. Don't fucking buy it. Anything to do with Hyperspin of people online, unless it's from official sources, i.e. the Hyperspin website or the MU Movies. They're the only places you should ever be spending money for Hyperspin. If there's anything else, don't bother. If you've got any questions, just ask me. I'll fucking answer as many as you can, and I'll give you advice and tips and tricks, and tell you if, you know, it's a reputable person, if he's actually got drives. I've got drives and fixed drives from all the companies you could ever think of. I mean, I've got drives from companies that didn't even know existed, and I've fixed them, and I know how good they are, how bad they are, what kind of tips they use, what kind of uh, format they're using. I mean, some of them are still on Hyperspin 1. I mean, what was that, 2009 or something? Fucking hell, come on, guys. You're just ripping people off. Anyway, fuck me. I've got bandwidth to think about here. <laughs> I'm having to upload this video once complete to the internet with my phone, as I said. Oh, it's going to kill me. Anyway, Commodore 64. I can't give you the full guide. I am sorry, guys. I really cannot. Basically, I haven't got my computer set up because I've had no internet, so it's not been worth it. So I'm having to do this through my laptop, through my mobile, and hope that it works this way. That means that I cannot make this long, so I cannot fit everything in there. However, what I will include is everything that you need to get set up. And hopefully, along the way of actually watching my tutorials and videos, you will actually pick something up and be able to do this for yourself. It's like you're a little child and I'm pushing you on your bike. And you did have stabilizers, but I think today you no longer need those stabilizers. And I'm gonna set you off, we're gonna get some momentum, and now I'm gonna set you free. If you fall, I'll be there to pick you up, guys. I'll be there, don't you worry. But for now, you're on your own. You are on your own. And you will feel so much better for it to pick up the reins, to be able to feel the wind in your face as you flow through the systems of hyperspin, knowing that I'm not there behind you all the way. I mean, I am, hypothetically, but I'm not physically. And I apologise for that. But, again, you will feel better for it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fucking hell, it's going to cost me a fortune to upload this with my fucking bullshit waffles. Um, right, let's do it. First off, I've got to say it. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. A thousand plus subscribers. Like I said, I didn't expect this. I really didn't. And in return, I'm giving you the Commodore 64 as soon as I get good enough bandwidth to upload the PlayStation because the PlayStation fucking upload is huge. As soon as I get uh, enough bandwidth to do that, I will upload it and give you a guide. That's a bit more in depth. However, thank you guys. Thank you for the uh, for the big ups. Right, Commodore 64. Boom. 
Everything you need to know is in this thread. Everything. This guy, Duggan78, fuck me, hats off to you, my friend. You did everything. You've grafted, you've worked, you've got this, and you've really pulled it out the bag. All the information you need will be found somewhere in this thread. Now, this thread is fucking 88 pages long, so I'm not expecting you to read through it all. A lot of them uh, is updates uh, putting in for all the games that he's done. This guy's put together just short of 3,000 games. Now, that is no mean feat. I mean, he's got wheel art, box art, uh, snaps. I've put together themes. I've put together uh, fades, bezels. I've, in I've improved, well, in my eyes, please feel free to um, cuss me if you wish. But I feel I've improved his box art just to make it feel a lot better in our hyperspin setup. And you can't find this anywhere else. I've done this myself. However, it's all due to this guy. He's really has done very well. <laughs> Gold star for you, Duggan78. Gold star for you. Um, yeah, to be honest, it's not hard to set up with the emulator. We'll be running it through Windvice. However, feel free to use whatever you want. But I'll be showing you Windvice and giving you all the bits for it. Um, the only thing that you will come into, well, discrepancies is controls if you got a cab or something like that then you're going to find this awkward if you just want to use joypad again you get this a bit awkward there are various workarounds that people have done you'll find all the information here but you can use a joystick you can set it up however you want there's loads of different versions of how people set this up but again i'm waffling on but i just want to get the information out there for you guys so you can get this set up properly as you wish right let's have a look windvice this is a, I'll put the this in the description below. This is the emulator that we're gonna be using. Obviously, we're gonna to go to the download section and then you wanna be looking at uh, the 64 bit AMD, whatever it is. Basically, one of these two. That's what you wanna be using. Uh, unless you've got a 32 bit version and then you're gonna be using that one. It's a piece of piss to install, same as every other fucking thing you install. I don't think there's anything hidden in there, I've not experienced anything, but feel free to check as much as you wish. Also, once you have got it installed, install it in the normal folder, i.e. the emulators folder that we made. Then, take yourself over, I haven't got this installed properly, I've only got an old version of Hyperlaunch here, but the principle is still the same. When you get over into it and you want to set up your emulator, first off you're going to go to Global, and then you're going to look for the wind vice somewhere around here and you're going to point it to wherever your uh, sorry emulator's tablet at the top jesus went um, go to the wind vice down the bottom you should have a little red exclamation mark unless you previously set it up uh, point it towards where it is here we go double click point it to where, wherever you just installed your uh, wind vice emulator the exe now what you want to be looking for is the x64 that's the commodore 64 version of that as when you install it you will see shit loads of applications you want the x64 that's the version that you want to be running to run the commodore 64 and well to be honest if you're watching this video that's where you want to be setting it up guys <laughs> okay so that's that that's the emulator setup to set up the system as you can see by default commodore 64 isn't included with the hyperspin setup or the rocket launch Launcher or hyper launcher, whatever the fuck you want to call it nowadays after all these bastard updates. <laughs> to do that, all you need to do is go to the uh, Hyper HQ, click the main menu wizard, click the plus sign, type in Commodore 64 as set forth by the rocket launcher and hyper launch people. Uh, so it has to be numeric alpha numerically correct with capitalizations and all that stuff identically to how it expects it have a look in the icons folder for that again tips and tricks of that through earlier videos of mine uh, once that's in go through all the boxes yes you want to add the sub wheel yes to all the rest and then place it where you want it click ok you should get green ticks all across the board and once you then click the refresh button here Obviously, it won't do on my because I haven't done it. You will end up with the Commodore 64 added to your system list. Now, if you did it correctly, you will end up with a little icon next to it. Therefore, telling us that everything is rosy and we can dance like little daisies in a field of dreams. Um, if it's not, then hang your head in shame. Go back to your Hyperlaunch HQ. Delete the system that you just added and look for correct spelling. <laughs> okay, that's that. 
Fucking hell. Waffle, come on, bandwidth, guys. Bandwidth. I haven't got time for this shit. Okay, to actually get the system set up, what you want to be doing is clicking on the Commodore 64. I haven't got that, so I'm going to use the uh, Nintendo 64 as an example here. Um, click on the Modules tab. Now, in the Modules tab, you will see something like this. View Module Notes. Click on that, and it will end up opening up something like this. Basically, in the notes, it will tell you everything to do with the emulator and how the system runs. Now, I know that in the Commodore 64 WinVice module and the notes, then it will tell you all the boxes you need to tick and all the settings that you need to change to get it to run smoothly within Hyperspin. I think it's just a case of turning off uh, save when exit and uh, full screen and all that kind of stuff. Just follow exactly what it says. It's not hard. It's like a five minute job. Uh, once that's done, obviously you can get rid of that and you can then save your settings in the emulator itself and then you should be good to go from a stage of actually running the games. Now the games themselves, there are a few various places, websites, whatever you want to do to get them from. Um, however, they can be done uh, first off the Hyperspin website. If you go on and you're a premium member, you are good enough, well, you have lucky enough to be able to afford the premium membership, then you can have access to the FTP. On the FTP, Duggan78 has a little folder. Within that folder is a Commodore 64 folder. Within the Commodore 64 folder, there is a ROMs folder, and within there is all the games you could ever want, to be honest, for the Commodore 64. And they're all named correctly, they're all set up correctly, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, yeah, so, you know, use that. Also, if you are not a premium member, then I believe something Gorilla. It's not something Gorilla. It's as in something I can't remember the first name of it. Gorilla um, set of ROMs for the Commodore 64. I think it's Hungry Gorilla, Gorilla or something like that. Basically, I know that they are named almost correctly for this set. And also Game Base, which is the big one that had a recent update. That's got something like 8,000 games, and they are named almost correctly for the system, and a very good set of ROMs too. Now, obviously, I use the Duggan 78 because his are done by him, so everything matches. But, you know, you do what the fuck you want. I don't care, to be honest. Um, but yeah, get it set up. Right, also included in the description below is, as always, the link to my art. There you go. Basically, it's 805.5 megabytes of Commodore 64 goodness. And in there, I've included all, all, all of his stuff. Basically, his wheels, um, his snaps, his um, boxes, but I've not just given you his because that's just stupid. Basically, what I've done is I've converted it all into widescreen. I've converted his boxes to look much better. In my opinion, of course, you might not like them, in which case use his boxes. I don't care. I've just tweaked them a little bit. I will be doing another sweep of them boxes because I only managed to do one before I moved house and it does need a little bit more work just to get the tweaks of the boxes figured out the way I'm comfortable with them. But to be honest, they're much better. Well, they look fucking good to be honest. So you play with them if you wish. Also, I've put borders on the wheels to match the theme and everything so you do to get them up and running as per normal. Uh, hypersync or go to Emmy movies, download all the movies for that system. I think there's something like just under a thousand now. And also use the tips and tricks video 2015 to change the font in the bottom left hand corner of the games just to get it all matching properly. I can't show you a demo, guys, because the system's not set up. But to be honest, it is a fucking shit hot system. I put a lot of work into that. It still does need a little bit more to go, but I'm releasing this for you as version one, <laughs> the unofficial version, uh, to get you set up. But again, you know, it's fucking, it's good going, this guy's get stuck in um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks well hopefully shorter than that I will be releasing the uh, PlayStation and the Amiga as soon as I can I haven't got the bandwidth at the moment and I haven't got my system to show you um, they are a lot more complicated those systems well maybe not the PlayStation but it is a disk based system which does cause people issues um, but yeah that's that I'm waffling shit as per normal as right now so I haven't got I, I haven't got the bandwidth for this <laughs> but before I go included in the in the download is the readme file ensure you read the readme file I've put a few more links in there 
uh, for a bit more access to my accounts and stuff. Please, I'll give you my Steam account. If I end up with fucking Steam requests and I end up people asking me how to run Hyperspin through Steam, I will kick off to fuck and ban the whole lot of you. <laughs> I give that so we can fucking, you know, I don't know, chill in games rather than fucking just have me telling you how to do stuff all the time. If it doesn't work, then I'll just fucking, you know, change the account so you can't access it anymore. But, you know, I'm just trying to give you options. Included in there, or there is the Facebook page. Make sure you've got the Facebook page. And if you haven't, have a look there because there is some very juicy treats in there at the moment and a few links which may very much help you out with your hyperspin setup. Also is the uh, Twitter or Twitter, whatever the fuck you call it. <laughs> uh, I try to get information out there early to warn you off for things that are going to be released soon. So if you want to know what's coming soon, then I would be a follow me on Twitter, then you get early access to shit. Um, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Please share as much as possible to get the word out on these. And remember, do not fucking buy hard drives or systems or especially fucking computers off these guys on the internet selling hyperspin. I mean, fuck me. Common sense, people. If I was to buy a fucking computer from a company, I would get a warranty. If I wasn't happy with it, I could send it back. If it blew up, I could send it back. If you buy anything from these guys, you think you can send it back? No. And you think it's made good? No. Because I've got about fucking tens of... You know, I've got shit loads of their drives. I've con fixed, configured, I've done all sorts with all their drives from the best to the worst. Hyperspin 1. <laughs> Still being sold. Don't fucking buy drives, especially computers. You're pissing thousands up the wall. Honest, guys. Just don't do it. Anyway, I'm waffling on shit. Uh, stay in touch guys, I'll try and get some more videos released very soon, it depends on my bandwidth, I'll see how this one goes. Anyway, love you all, <laughs> and you have fun. Laters!